empty. Utility. This is great because you can take it through gun security. Just like a key. But it unpacks into a very, very dull knife. Like, very dull. Um, a little serrated blade. Bottle opener for beers. My favorite is the Phillips head screwdriver. It's also a flat head screwdriver and very important for me because I wear glasses is the glasses screwdriver. Now these, when I bought mine it was about $9. I'm not really sure how much they go for now, but uh, it says on it, Swiss Tech Utility. And uh, I think the Phillips head screwdriver is magnetic. There's a little tiny round magnet point and there's another little tiny round magnet point and there's another really tiny round magnet point. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our empty bottle, which you don't have to put in your 311 bag because, you know, it's got no liquid. And we're going to take a bar of soap. And we're going to just put some soap into the bottle, just by scraping it off. And I like to scrape my soap from the underside of the bar, where it's all squishy and comes off like really ugly cheese curds. And I'm just going to peel it off. And yes, you don't have to use a knife for this, but that having even the world's dullest blade in the world helps. And yes, I did just steal the world's dullest blade in the world thing from the world's greatest spokesman in the world who is selling something, but I can't remember what. Now we are going to add water to the bottle, and then we're going to shake. But first, I'm going to wash my hands and the utility. There goes. sure the cap is totally on and you guessed it shake shake to dissolve now let's say you have rather than bar soap you've got liquid soap I didn't fill this bottle up completely, but three squirts plus water gets you the same soapy water. Then you plug up the sink, the drain down by pulling up on the thingy, and you're going to put a very small amount of water in the sink. by very small, like, I don't know, an inch, an inch deep, the deepest point. And then you give it your soap. Now you're going to ask yourself, couldn't I have just, um, couldn't I have just put the soap directly in the water? Yeah, that's one of my other techniques. didn't do it here because I wanted to show you other uses. Also, it's harder to get the soap to dissolve if you add it directly to the water. And if you shake it in a very small confined space. And I really want all that soap. All that soap on nice and dissolved. And yes, it is hand soap. That's perfectly okay. And once 
coincidentally. You now have a clean bottle. One last thing. This is not hand sanitizer. This is uh, home washing laundry detergent, but I put it in a 0.5 ounce bottle of hand sanitizer so it doesn't take up much room at all. It's 15 milliliters of hand sanitizer. 10 drops in that. Well, in more than that. This small amount of water, this one inch of water, five drops. And, but, and with five drops for a load this small, that would be like a pair of socks at a time, or I don't know if that's too small for a t-shirt, the water. Um, you can get quite a lot of washing out of one of these bottles of soap. going to squeeze it 200 times. Also use this soapy water for a little extra if you need to. Soap is completely dissolved, and you've just done the agitation of a washing machine. 